Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Slick Wolf. I'm back again with another video bringing you a video that some of you are going to be really thrilled about. Maybe, maybe not some of you are going to despise and you're going to be thrilled about it because of the possibility of another Robin being, you know, in the DCEU possibly, but unfortunately one of them, you know, is not going to be in here. We knew that one of the Robins was going to be dead from the initial trailer. I think actually in the teaser as well, they showed the dead Robin outfit. No, 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 that's the San Diego Comic-Con one. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this article. Um, if you remember, I believe it was in April 2015, this picture was leaked uh, from the set of Batman v Superman. And it says here, Richard John Grayson, for those of you unaware, that is Dick Grayson. Now, a lot of people, um, you know, were really freaking out about this initially. People were talking about how, oh, this means, you know, Dick Grayson's dead. Uh, everyone was going crazy and everybody was really upset. Then it was announced that this was, uh, or, you know, an article came out. Um, I believe this was the specific article, but anyway, there's a, a spew of them just like this. So here's, this was in 2015 from comicbookmovie.com. Um, but after the new trailer, the rumor has been utterly debunked as Reddit user Daffy Puck points out that it would be impossible seeing as, um, you know, this is the, the scene where, um, you know, Thomas and Martha Wayne have just died here. Bruce is right there, actually. Um, to anyone confused, Dick Grayson couldn't possibly have passed away before Bruce's parents did because he would either have to have not been born yet um, because he's a newborn. And oh, Okay, so basically what he's saying is that Dick Grayson is dead right here. Here's his grave. Um, it makes no sense that Dick Grayson is dead at the point where Bruce Wayne's eight. He's eight years old. He's a little boy right here. Um, Dick Grayson would be, uh, or Bruce Wayne would be probably 30, may maybe the late 20s. Um, if Dick Grayson were to die, that's around the point in, in Bruce Wayne's career when um, Dick Grayson is the Robin. The problem with this, in which this is debunked, so initially, okay, this comes out, everybody's freaking out, right? It says right here, Richard John Grayson, you can see it. Um, and you can see that, that it is exactly out of here. You, you see there's a little branch in the middle, Richard John Grayson with the cross on top, and then the angel, two wings, she's looking to her left, over her left shoulder. If we look right here, it's the same thing. Okay, so there's no questions there. It's not a question of whether this is the real set photo or not. This photo is legit, okay? It's it's, legit. it's not like a, you know, a fake Photoshop or anything like that, okay? So... <laughs> The problem here is that this is a night is, is a dream sequence. Th this entire thing right here is a dream sequence. So his logic of Bruce Wayne's parents, you know, at this point and and when this is actually taking place, it is correct in that Dick Grayson would not be dead. Dick Grayson would be a child. Maybe he wouldn't even be born yet. But the thing is, this entire scene right here is a figment of a pigment of Bruce Wayne's imagination. All of it. It's because we see Bruce Wayne, you know, in the movie, he runs over here. As he's running through here, he is envisioning his own nightmares, okay? And we see that when he falls in and he's kind of lifted up, it's immediately, you know, the, the, it looks like a real sequence at first. But then once the bats come and pull him up, it's like, okay, this is obviously a dream. And he talks about later in his commentary, Bruce Wayne's, you know, voiceover, he's, he talks about how um, it's only in his dreams, blah, blah, blah. The point being, as Bruce Wayne is running through here, he is envisioning his own nightmares, and his biggest nightmare is the fact that Dick Grayson's tombstone is right there, and that Dick Grayson is dead in the DCEU. So in the 20 years that Bruce Wayne has, you know, been Batman up in the point of Batman v Superman, Dick Grayson has died at some point. This is not 100%. I mean, I mean I, I'm mean, i not familiar enough with the lore to know maybe this is, maybe it could be Dick Grayson's dad. I don't believe that's, I mean, Richard John Grayson, that's Dick Grayson. That's his name. So, um... <laughs> So this is, I mean, this could be, um, all I can tell you is that this is legit. This is a legit photo. Um, it is a, a, a set leaked photo. Um, so take it for what you will. I would say it's about 95% confirmed. You know, again, the reason that this was debunked is because we thought that this was live action the entire time. And in the trailer, we thought that this was just a flashback. A flashback is different than a dream, okay? A flashback would mean that everything you see here is real, and the camera is just recording what happened previously. But because of the fact that this entire scene is a dream, and we see that Bruce Wayne runs off into the woods here, um, it's a dream. It's it's a dream, and, and Bruce Wayne is envisioning everything that's happening. So, that changes everything, and the way I see it, that confirms that Dick Grayson is dead in this movie. Now... That closes some avenues, absolutely. Would I have loved to see a Nightwing solo movie? Yeah, I don't think we would have ever gotten one regardless. But one thing that does open up for sure is Jason Todd being Robin. Um, I've already said in the fact that Bruce Wayne 
um, spoiler alert for Batman v Superman, I guess, um, you know, Batman does kill in this movie, you cannot have Jason Todd in a movie because their essential conflict between any Batman and, and Red Hood story is that Batman does not kill and Jason Todd does, and that's their antithesis that, that kind of binds them together. So with the fact that Batman kills, it, it would be impossible to do it under the Red Hood-like story arc. But that doesn't mean they wouldn't bring him in. They could very well do him, I just think it would be very hard, personally. Either way, my point being is that Dick Grayson, he's not going to be the Robin, he's not going to be Nightwing, but that brings in a whole spew of opportunities. Maybe Jason Todd could be, um, you know, like some, like take the place of Nightwing, if, if that makes sense. Like, instead of being Red Hood, that's a vigilante that shoots people, he's just like, um, like a, kind of like a good Red Hood that works with Batman. Uh, that's just a crazy theory. At this point, I'm just going to speculate. Um, so then Tim Drake's probably Robin. Maybe we could even have Jason Todd that is the Robin, and and we've never really seen that. Like, usually, you know what I mean? Like, we usually have Dick Grayson as as um, as um Robin, or we have Tim Drake as Robin, and somewhere in between there, you know, Jason Todd is almost always, um, in, in almost all the great Bat stories, Jason Todd is Red Hood or already dead, etc. We usually don't see Batman and Jason just working together as a duo in the same way that um, Batman and Dick and Batman and Tim do. So I would love to see that. I would love to see Jason Todd being the main Robin of the DCEU. Uh, I think Jason Todd's a great character, one of the best in, in the Batman lore. So I'd love to see it. This is just, I'm just bringing you the news, bringing, bearing the bad news. It, it does suck. I would have loved to see Dick Grayson be alive, but by the looks of it, um, I don't I don't see how that, that I mean, this is 100% legit here. And again, the, the, the main thing that we had against it was um, you know, well, there's no way that, you know, his tombstone could be right here. And you, if you see the side-by-side -side images, it is the same thing. And, you know, that's a good thing everybody pointed out. Everybody was like, well, there's no way that Dick Grayson would be dead when Bruce Wayne's eight years old. He's not even Batman yet, so therefore he wouldn't have a Robin. The thing is, this is all a nightmare, okay? So... There it is. Uh, take it for what you will. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you liked the video, then feel free to give it a thumbs up. My name's Slickmoff, and we will see you in the next one.